Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and <coughs> model our suitcase here. And we're going to do this um, a little bit differently. We aren't going to uh, go ahead and use a poly box. We're going to go ahead and use a, uh, a poly pipe here because I want to get th get that um, like rounded shape since it has a very very particular rounded shape on the sides it's going to be easier if I go ahead and use this poly cylinder poly pipe to, to go ahead and make that shape and then we'll just you know duplicate it over to the other side and, and, and do it that way so as you can see I've brought in that poly pipe and I'm just going to go ahead and rot it, rotate it up 90 degrees here make sure that I shape this properly we'll go ahead and extrude these edges but I don't want these faces here on the bottom edit the geometry here just a tad and th this can simply you know be accomplished uh, by just mirroring the geometry and editing the scale of it just a little bit and you can see that it already looks like the the top half of our our suitcase and I'm just double checking to make sure it looks right to me and we'll go ahead and mirror the bottom of it and we need to just adjust the uh, the one edge here to go ahead and flatten it out on the bottom and on the sides as well and you can basically see that our suitcase is almost there just need to do a little bit more of a editing to get that shape to be refined the way that I want it and just delete one half and edit the front half here of it and now we just basically use the the poly split face tool so that we can edit the geometry so that it's going to be all quads whenever we uh, go to mirror it for the other side and this is definitely just a little bit tedious in terms of where we need to to go ahead and cut this a bit apart and you can see where our quads are looking pretty good on one side there and whoops I mirrored it in the wrong direction there I'll just scale it up here to get our suitcase looking the way that we need 
and that's looking pretty good so far and we just need to do a little bit of edge editing to go ahead and add some thickness here I'm going to go ahead and scale these end faces and extrude them in. I'm going to go ahead and make the leather part of the suitcase here. Just select these all these faces on the edge here so that I can duplicate them. And I'll just go ahead and extrude the edges in and down so that uh, <coughs> it looks like it has some thickness to it I just have to do a little bit of edge editing here made a little bit of a mistake there. I should have just combined them before I mirrored it. That's okay. And for the most part, I mean, that's, you know, pretty much a suitcase model. Um, we have to do a little bit more of refinement and uh, add a little bit more. But for the most part, you can see that <coughs> our suitcase within about 10 minutes is almost done. And then we'll come back in the next lesson and then uh, go ahead and finish up modeling our suitcase.